As CBN's Caitlin Burke followed today's arguments, Caitlin, what did the justices zero in on here? Well, Jenna, the key to this whole case is determining whose voice the flagpole represents, the government's or private citizens. Now, justices really grilled the attorney representing Boston on that question. When you say anybody can speak by putting up a flag, with these few exceptions, it, are you not creating a forum for private speech rather than speaking on uh, speaking your own mind? No, Your Honor. I, I do believe that the fact that we're talking about the government's own flagpole in front of the government's seat of power, where governments have historically spoken, it's the government's bully pulpit. Everyone would think that is the government speaking. There are three flagpoles outside of Boston City Hall. One flies the American flag, another that of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The third flagpole is meant to celebrate other countries, cultures, and causes. Private organizations simply have to apply to have their banner raised. While the city may have viewed that third flagpole as representing the government's voice, the plaintiff's attorney said its website conveyed a different message. And the policies specifically written by the city for the 2005 to 2017 include the statement that these are public forums open to all applicants. Matt Staver with the Liberty Council represents Hal Shirtliff. Shirtliff is the director of Camp Constitution, an organization that applied to fly a Christian flag in honor of Constitution Day. Their request was rejected. After 12 years with 284 flag raising approvals, no denials and usually no review, one word caught the attention of a Boston official, the word Christian on the application. Staver calls this a case of viewpoint discrimination, accusing the city of using its argument of government speech as a guise for censorship. And can't the government choose what it wants to say? And if the government makes it clear and it's not, you know, just stamping government speech on it to hide discrimination against private viewpoints, but if the government truly exercises control, wouldn't that be okay? If the government truly exercised control, other cities don't open for third-party flags for obvious reasons. Those that do can um, invite some third-party participation as long as they maintain very specific control of the subject matters and messages and that it's very clear that it is their speech. While Boston argued there were clear parameters of the flags it would allow to represent the city, Ultimately, the justices expressed that it seemed officials were operating off the belief that allowing a religious flag to fly outside City Hall would be unconstitutional, and that was a mistake. But in the context of a system where flags go up, flags go down, different people have different kinds of flags, then it is a, 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 a violation of the free speech part of the First Amendment and not an Establishment Clause violation, the end. Now, Boston suspended its flagpole program in 2021, pending a decision from the high court. The attorney representing Boston says officials plan to clarify their policy going forward, explicitly stating that the flagpole represents government speech. Jenna?